Hi guys, it's Ray. I'm starting a new cup today. Um, after this section, there's going to be a section where I started this tumbler, um, where you're going to see me get it to this point. I did just sand this quick because, um, it's been sitting for a couple days and it needed a bit of a refresh. So, how I got it to this point, because I'm just going to silent and speed through that part, is this was base painted in aqua spray paint. And then I covered it with um, Winter Wonderland from Glitter and Pixie Dust. I was hoping it would pull more of the white, but um, it didn't, so I couldn't use it for its original intended purpose. So I'm going to use it for this instead. So this is from the Butterfly Lane Designs subscription box, and um, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to wrap the back half in the vinyl, the pattern vinyl, because this is gorgeous. I'd like to maximize that. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put the little boots. This is clear, so it's going to show the blue underneath, but the black will stand out. And then I have Life is Better in Hiking Boots or Hiking Cheaper Than Therapy. Um, I think I'm going to use the Life is Better in Hiking Boots to pull more of that color. So I will make sure when I wrap that I only go as far as the decal will still show up. So that is the plan for this one. So we're going to get a fresh coat of epoxy on this. I probably won't show that part because um, it'll be right back where it was in the previous part of the video. But once this is ready to go again, we will get our vinyl and decals on. So I will be back. Okay, so my epoxy is mixed. I'm going to put my Winter Wonderland in. Okay, so I am going to get a coat of epoxy on this, let it dry. Okay, so I'm going to get this one finished up. I am going to use vinyls and a decal from the Butterfly Lanes designed subscription box from last month so this is where my tumbler is at I'm going to put this vinyl on the back half of the tumbler and my decal on the front and then I'm going to use a little bit of the clear footprints also on the front so I'm going to trim down my decal first And do it like the hinge method. So I'm going to get it placed. That looks good. So then I can measure. is a little more than 10 around. I'm going to do five and a half inches for the back side.
same thing. I'm going to peel up a little piece and cut a sliver off. I'm going to try and get it lined up somewhat evenly between the two halves of the decal. Just going to eyeball it even. That looks good. You can anchor it with that little end cut. Switch to my larger squeegee. Not a bubble, a fold. I do have a couple of bubbles because again my epoxy wasn't completely even. I scrubbed that a little too hard on the ripples. So next up is the clear vinyl and I'm going to keep it this orientation. Height-wise, I can go five, and across I can go just over four and a half. About a perfect set of tracks, so cool. Yeah. Cool deal, mm. but it makes it too tall. So I think I'm going to cut just one set out of the center here or the top, whatever I'm saying. So I kind of want to pinstripe around this one, but maybe not the clear.
Okay. So, that is it. Except I think I'm going to put a little pair of hiking feet on the bottom. Maybe in the same direction. I think I want one of these double feet sets though. Just as the little something extra for this cup. So we're going to get this over. And we will get a coat of epoxy on it, and it'll be done. So I'll be back when we're at the turner. Okay, so I have my turbo mixed up. I'm going to put in a little bit of the touch of neon just to um, hide any of these flaws. So... I'm going to give it a decent sized scoop. So there we go. Um, that is going to be it for this tumbler. Uh, not at all what this tumbler was intended to be from the beginning, but I love how it turned out in the end. So I'm quite happy with it. Life is better in hiking boots. The little footprints. This gorgeous, gorgeous vinyl watercolor like mountain range scene. And just a couple little footprints on the bottom for just something fun. So that is really going to be it for this one. Um, I hope you like it. Um, and you know, sometimes you start something for one thing and it's not going to work. So you shift gears and it ends up being perfect for the next thing. So. the turbo you don't want to give it a lot of heat because it'll like cure up instantly just a little bit to get any residual bubbles so that is all for this one I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one